Hey guys, I'm Steve. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. If you're a new uh, viewer, hit that subscribe button. Trust me, you won't regret it. If you're a returning subscriber, as always, I welcome you back. Guys, I'm going to talk to you about something that I really don't get. Now, normally I do uh, videos about stock market investing or you know different stocks and what the market's doing. The market's down today, so I won't jump into that. I want to uh, flip the script a little bit. Um, I'll start this off with a story. First thing is, I went to Walmart this morning. You know, I had a couple of clients. I had to pick up a couple of cleaning supplies. Went to Walmart, normal day around almost 8 o'clock this morning. Walk into Walmart, not thinking nothing. I hear a bunch of keys. I turn around. Cops almost knocked me down, like eight or nine cops running behind me into the Walmart. You know, when you go into Walmart, you turn to, the, to whatever side, you know, is it, you got the self-checkouts right there. Man, here it was. They ran in there and tackled this woman. She's standing there, butt-ass naked, from the waist down. Big winter coat on because it's kind of chilly out here. So she was fully clothed up top, but from the waist down, had no clothes on and had on some uh, raggedy flip-flops, right? They tackled her, and she was trying to get through the checkout aisle. And they, I guess the employees wouldn't let her check out because she was new or, or, or semi-new. And I'm looking like, what the hell is this? You know what I'm saying? And that brings me to the question of this. You know, like, after I seen that, I just couldn't get it out of my head. Like, you know, why would somebody would do that? And I mean, no doubt that the lady was probably mentally ill. But, um, you know, I came back and I was just on the internet messing around looking for, uh, you know, just topics to talk about today. And then I just thought about it. I'm like, yo, it's a lot of craziness in Walmart. And like, why is Walmart like a, ha a haven for dumbasses? I mean, you ever ask yourself that? I mean, really think about it. If, if you look at Walmart, man, every, it goes down in Walmart for some reason. I don't know what the hell it is with Walmart and people acting a fool. You know, well, a few days ago, chick go in Walmart and hold the chick hostage and then get killed on the damn, on the scene. Talking about she want a news anchor and all this other stuff. She needs help. And, you know, the, the police killed her right in there. What was it? A few few uh, weeks ago, it might have been even last week. Somebody dropped the baby. A dude was dropped dropped the baby like four times on the ground in Walmart. You know what I mean? Got arrested for that. You got him on camera. Then it's like you know you just look back at, at at how stuff goes. It's like you've had fightings in Walmart. People fighting. People getting stabbed. People getting shot. A whole bunch of assaults. I mean, like we said, murder. We had arson. What was it, a couple months ago? A few months ago. It was a while ago, I think, in Georgia, or Georgia Walmart. I think the girl was like a teenager, young teenager. She set the Walmart on fire. What the f What's going on, man? Now, the news today, last month's Chesapeake uh, Bay Walmart shooting, you know, where a few people died. The remaining survivors, a third survivor has filed a $50 million lawsuit against Walmart, claiming that you knew this guy was crazy, you kept him around here, and you ignored the situations and warning signs, and now people are dead. I don't know, she might have a serious case, but Walmart's hard to sue, you know? But um, they just lost the case. They were just ordered to pay somebody $4.4 million dollars because they had a shopping while black scandal in the Oregon based Walmart where they won the lawsuit. Man, it's like, man, Walmart can't win for losing, man. It's like for some reason, everybody goes into Walmart. You see it all the time. You got uh, people doing TikToks in Walmart. <laughs> then you got YouTubers doing pranks in Walmart. I'm like, what is it about Walmart that draws people to it to do dumb shit? I don't understand it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> But, I mean, I just figured I'd talk about that a little bit. And, I mean, if anybody out there got an idea of why this happens, man, please let me know in the comment section because I don't understand it. Man, I'm walking up into Walmart, man. Cops pushing me out the way. I'm, I mean, I heard the keys. I'm like, what the hell? I turned look. Man, they didn't even ask no question. They just tackled her and threw a uh, sheet on her. She cussing them all out and all this other stuff. My food. I'm getting my food. And. Uh, let me get my food. And it was like she didn't, she was like not even cognizant that she had no clothes on from the waist down. 
And it's like, I don't understand the whole situation. And it's like, I don't know, man. But I mean, maybe one of y'all can tell me what's going on with this situation. Because I mean, I I don't know. It, does it happen at Target or, or, or other places like Kohl's or something? I never see. I never see it. I'm going to look it up. But I mean, for some reason, it's always Walmart. And I mean, some people might say, oh, well, Walmart's in a lot of areas where, you know, it's in areas where I guess poor people live or whatever like that. I don't think it got anything to do with that. Because for some reason, it just seems like Walmart is the place to go when you want to act a fool. <laughs> I, I just, I don't know. But yeah, guys, man, I just wanted to drop a small video here and talk about that. Because it was just something that was on my mind. And um, leave me a comment, man. I mean, it's an interesting topic point. I'm going to hear from you. Leave me a comment. Tell me what you think. Why do you think Walmart is one of these places where people just act a fool? You know what I mean? It's like... Like we had multiple shoot mass shootings in Walmart and stuff. Like, who wakes up in the morning and you be like, you know what? I'm gonna go to Walmart instead of shopping. I'm gonna shoot the shit out somebody. I mean, it just doesn't compute. And it's like I don't know what I don't know what the hell. I don't know. Maybe it's I don't know. But I mean, like you know, it was a story of uh two Walmart employees having sex in public uh in a uh, public restroom. What kind of shit? What kind of time we on? You know what I'm saying? People getting the uh, taking the bikes off the uh, you know the ready-made bikes and riding them out the store. People getting caught at the door stealing. You know, people watching to walk out with big TVs. Like I mean, bro, like you ain't you ain't you don't think you're gonna get caught? Melees on Black Friday and all kind of crap. I, I mean. To my knowledge, I mean, thinking back, and I've been around for a while, I don't, I ain't never seen a department store have so much hell than Walmart. And it's like, I mean, I don't know if it's where the stores are, are sitting at or or just because they ain't got no security in them or nothing. Then, like, you, you see, the, I don't know if you've seen the one where uh, the cop was in Walmart and uh, he set it up the way he was going to rob, he, he was going to, uh, have some people come up there and rob the armored truck that he's going to set it up because he come out there and get the drop. I mean, come on, man. What kind of time we on? But anyway, guys, man, I just want to talk about it. It just struck me. I seen that today and it was like shell shocking to me. Like, man, damn, somebody came up. And the thing is this. It's not that she was walking around half naked. Somebody had to see her in the store. You know, they, the employees had these. Because uh, I, I got there probably about 30 minutes after they got up. They were open. They always had those employee, uh, you know, meetings in the front where everybody's in the circle clapping and all that, doing all that other happy shit. You ain't see this woman in here? Then she walking around naked. Don't y'all got surveillance? You ain't see this woman half naked? And the thing is, she was in there for a while, y'all, because her, her shopping cart was full, full. And she was going down different aisles, and she shopped like as if she was a regular person, you know, that had clothes on. So she was going up and down aisles. People had seen her. And you know, I know in the area I was at, the police show up quick there. So I know they probably was watching her for a while and was like, eh, let's call the cops now. You know, after they got their laughs out or whatever. But I mean, man, it seemed like it's a magnet for people that are mentally unstable. So you guys watch yourself when you out there at them Walmarts. But as always, guys, leave me a comment, man. I'm interested to hear what you guys got to say. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next video. I want to take a nap, but I don't want I don't want to have no dreams about this crap I seen. She was bad looking too. Ugh, it wasn't even worth thinking about. But anyway, guys, I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.